The stories I love the most become the most hated when they end, leaving me with an everlasting void. Both Cyberpunk 2077 and Cyberpunk Edge Runners will make you feel that way. Hey guys, it's been a while, huh? Three years. The reason I started YouTube was because of this very video you're watching, discussing feelings and emotions with the people who have similar interests. After watching Edge Runners, I had a lot of emotions and I had no place to dump it out. So much so that a game that I hadn't touched for two years was the only thing that I thought could give me more of it. More of this feeling that I was experiencing. And this is where the brilliance in the cyberpunk project lies. I began to think the strategies companies use to play with your mind. You see, both endings of 2077 and Edge Runners was definite. There was no cliffhangers of any sort. But you still end up wanting more of it. So much so that the player base of 2077 has been the highest it has ever been since its release. After experiencing the world of cyberpunk, it has come to a point where I would play or watch whatever they are putting out. When I started watching Edge Runners, I had no expectations. But every episode was made in a way you couldn't stop watching. There were things that would remind you of the game like the hollow animation and the sound. Some of the fixes were same. You get the same feeling for, from surveillance cams and the same airy feeling that Night City gave. It's almost like the show is telling you to go play the game again. See, uh, you can watch the show without playing the game, but the best experience would be to play the game first. Understanding of the terms is way better, understanding of the abilities is way better, and the fights make much more sense. You'll be playing the game after watching the show anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And this is where CD Projekt Red would have won, and you'll buy yourself some more time until you feel the void again. Until next time.